Let's have a look now at a number of our features. So remember in the features section, you need to be able to do two of these features very, very well. Um, so we're going to just look down one of the, fe the first feature, which is our measures and variables. So I've got a snapshot of the um, report here. So what we're interested in doing is looking for what measurements or variables would have been collected. So what data would they've got? So this first part background, doesn't have anything relevant there. The first rate that they've reported, they've talked about 2.8% said that they had used a sunbed in the last 12 months. So that is one variable, one piece of data that they will have collected. So let's write that down. Um, so whether people used a sunbed in the last 12 months. So that's one thing that was recorded. Now we need to evaluate that. So if somebody came up to you and said, I'm doing a survey, um, have you used a sunbed? Do you think that everyone is going to be answering completely truthfully? Are they going to remember exactly whether they did that in a 12-month period? Okay, so remembering information over a 12-month period Um, can be inaccurate. Okay, additionally, so in addition to that, um, some people might not be want, might not truthfully say that they have um, used a sunbed. They might feel a bit shy about saying that. Okay, so some people may not feel comfortable responding truthfully. comfortable um, telling a stranger that they use some beds. So this data may be inaccurate. Okay, so there's one piece of information. What other variables might they have done? They've talked here about no difference between males and females. So that would be another variable there, um, would be the gender. Males and females. Okay, and I would my evaluation of that would be, I would feel that that's, people are pretty accurate about being able to identify and answer that question correctly. What other information have we got? So they're talking here about different age groups. So 25 to 34, um, they've talked about people 55 and over. Um, none of the respondents 15 to 17. So another variable would be the age group. Okay, so they've done 15 to 17 that we know of. They've also talked about um, 25 to 34 year olds and they've talked about people 55 and over and I would expect there to be more categories in that. And I'd expect people would be reasonably comfortable um, giving a general age. If somebody asked me specifically what my age was, I might be a little reluctant to answer that truthfully, but if they said which age group are you in, I'd be more inclined to answer that truthfully. So in terms of evaluation, um, that's what I would write, is more people will be comfortable giving um, an age bracket than a specific age. Okay. Then what else have we got? We've got things in here about different ethnicities. So Asian, Maori, European, other, and Pacific. Okay, so that's going to be another variable. They've collected and asked people what ethnicity they are in. So that will be another variable there. So ethnicity. And we've got Asian, 
European, other um, Māori and Pacific. Okay, so I would expect there to be a reasonable accuracy um, in those. Okay, and so I could write that as an evaluation there, um, that I would expect that to be reasonably accurate in terms of the data that's been collected. And I would want to explain why I think that would be. Okay. Um, then what else have we got? We're told here we've got people with medium olive skin types and other skin types um, and fair skin types. So they've looked at different skin types. So that will be another variable will be the skin types. And so we've got medium olive fair other okay my personal thought would be okay I'm, I'm okay with understanding what fear type would be um but i'm not quite sure um what um what difference between medium and uh, olive and other skin types are okay um so i am unsure what the difference between medium and olive skin type is for example um, how was this determined so was it for example that they had a color chart um, and they rated you you know against your color it was, was it that they asked you which category you're in so depending on how they've got this information and, and whatnot this could be quite accurate it could be quite inaccurate okay so inaccuracies and I'm going to leave you to finish writing that up okay if I go back is there any other information so we've got a whole bunch more things that they could, we could have talked about here so it's talked about people living in urban areas, so looking at people living in Auckland versus other areas in New Zealand, so that would be another variable. We can look at, they've talked about people who provide fake tan, um, they've talked about people who has tried to get a suntan during the summer. Um, so then have we got anything else in here, I'm just having a quick look through looking at um, whether they've been severely sunburnt or not. Um, and we've got some stuff information down here about vitamin D, whether they had heard a news report or information about vitamin D over the last um, six months. So there's a whole bunch of different variables and what you need to be able to do is evaluate how would they have collected the data on them, how accurate would that be? What are some of the flaws about it? And that's what we want to do for this section.